Okay, so I don't know if I kept the original thing, but it is Saturday, so welcome to a weekend in my life. By that I mean I was ranting about my tax issues. Um, so yeah, my tax guy didn't submit my taxes. I confirmed it this morning with the online portal with New York State, so I'm going through that. Haven't been able to get a hold of them via email, via text, via phone, or anything. So needless to say, I am searching for a new tax accountant for next year. I don't even think they're an accountant, they're just a tax preparer. Um, so yeah, I might even like take that on. I might wear another hat and be Meredith tax preparer via TurboTax or something like that because my taxes are not that complicated. Like I don't own property. <laughs> So it's like they, they should not have messed this up as badly as they did. Um, I've also been audited by the feds and the New York State before because they haven't filed my taxes appropriately in the past. Should have fired them back then, but I didn't do it. But this is kind of the last straw, especially since they don't respect private information and making sure like things like, you know, all of my private information isn't out there unsecure because they didn't write the full address in. Okay, breakfast today is the coffee I just made, and then I also have this potency thing. I forgot about it in the fridge, so I'm gonna drink this. And I can't remember, it was either Joker or Gorilla, it's from the Too Good To Go bag. And then also this other bag item, which was from Ole and Steen. It looks like it has like um, sunflower seeds and carrots on it, so it looks slightly less sweet than the other one. I just pulled it out of the freezer, and then I found it for a little bit, and then I threw it in the air fryer. I don't know why I showed you my air fryer, but um, yeah, so this will be breakfast. It's kind of like brunch almost, it's kind of late. It looks okay on the inside, so this is what it is. It doesn't look like there's any filling. Yeah, so I mean, it's fine. I don't think it's anything special, um, but it's kind of like has an egg wash on the top. I can kind of taste the egg flavor, um, but it's like not sweet. Um, so that's very much appreciated. I'm not a huge sweet pastries fan. Not essential, but cool. Kind of curious about these. idea what the price is. Something $9.99. $29.99. I feel like influencers love this brand because it's an influencer brand, but $9.99 for the hair color. Another brand influencers always talk about. Still on the hunt for a blazer. As per usual, still looking for that blazer.
It was super picked over, so still looking for a blazer. Still looking for a blazer. Each mark purchase. Second ticket to go for the day. Okay, so I am back home. I was out a lot later than I thought. I thought I was gonna come home and regroup before going out for my ticket to go, but I didn't. So that's in this bag. And then in here is some of the things I picked up at the mailbox. I don't know why I said that's so weird, at the P.O. box. And then also I went to a sample sale and bought some stuff, so I'll show you that. And then in here is some other miscellaneous stuff. So I'll show you what I bought. So hold on, let me get the Too Good To Go set up. Okay, so over here, this is the Gorillas on Manhattan Valley. So that's like, I think it was like a 103 in Broadway. Um, so this one was $4.99. So I got two baby spring mixes, so that's great. I'm gonna have to eat them real fast, really fast. My brain is shut off. I didn't mean to walk. I walked like 20,000 steps today, so I'm a little bit tired. And I also didn't drink any water. So <laughs> anyway, two baby spring mixes. I have to eat this quickly before I go on vacation on Wednesday. I also got a Shabbat. I'm gonna throw this into the freezer. It looks to be unsliced, so. That's good to know. Um, I haven't gotten bread before from Gorillas. So I'm actually kind of curious, but this looks like to, it is organic. And then I also got some mini bagels. So it looks like there are 10 pre-sliced ones in here. Again, I'm gonna throw this into the freezer. I might kind of wrap it up a little bit so it doesn't get freezer burned. I also got two apples and these are two Oh, I was going to say challenge. I don't know what that is. Two Honeycrisp apples. So actually, I love Honeycrisp. I might eat these for dinner. And I also got a pound of chicken thighs. And this is that organic one that I got last time as well. Um, so I'm going to move on to the next thing. So then about a half an hour later, so I killed some time at H Mart and I bought some beverages because I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't had water all day today. Um, so by that, I mean, since I left my apartment. So here is from Shiny Tea. So this one is at, I think like 102 in Broadway. I might be off by a block for both. Um, but this is a, what did he say? mango black tea and it has bubbles in here so these were $3.99 for both of these and this one is a fresh milk tea with bubbles in here as well um so boba is now like a dollar for the additional item so i think this came out to more than 12 dollars which was the promised price and then for this this one was supposed to be 15 dollars worth of value i think and i definitely got my value there um i also put this out here because it's a little bit weird but um i stopped by marshall's to try to buy something that they didn't have so i think maybe um cleansing balm is not, like not in vogue anymore i can't find it at any store um so anyway i bought this i needed a butter dish i've been reusing this like butter container that like the spreadable kind came in i just like threw a stick in there um so this is probably a lot better and this was how much was this 2.99 um so this was the only thing i bought at marshall's <laughs> super interesting i did not find a blazer the entire day so let me put this stuff away into the respective area of my fridge and then i will show you what else i bought Actually, I spoke too soon. So in here, I bought some grapes from the roadside guy. Um, I think it was like at 73rd and Broadway um, in front of the Bloomingdale's. Didn't buy anything there either. That's a story for another day. Um, but here are some grapes. They looked really good. They were $2 a pound. He tried to have... 
he tried to hustle me into getting some persimmons, blueberries, and cherries. He kept giving me lower and lower price because I said, no, 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 thank you. And he just give, kept giving me a lower and lower in price. So if you want to negotiate some fruit, that might be the guy. Um, but yeah, these looked pretty good. I'm going to rinse these as well. I'll probably eat the grapes and the apples for dinner because it's like 9 o'clock right now. And I think it's a little bit late to eat like a full-on meal. Um, but then I have plenty of other food for later as well. Okay, so I already poured myself a glass of seltzer and I'm also gonna make a, I'm also going to make a cold brew, whatever this is, Tiavana Beach Bellini. So this is what it looks like. So this one is non-caffeinated, as you can see here, it's caffeine free, it has pieces of pineapple and mango. I already know the string is going in here, so <laughs> there's no point in even pretending that it's not. Um, and then I'm gonna fill it up with some seltzer. Yep string is in. I washed my hands like six times. Okay, so I'm gonna brew this and I'm gonna set up my other stuff to show you what I bought. Here is the next round. It's admittedly a very weird round. Um, so I bought these at H Mart. Basically, I was like, dang, I'm super thirsty and it's like probably not healthy. So I went in and I intended to buy this. Um, <laughs> um, so this is like some corn silk tea um so this one is here's what it is um so basically yeah it's corn flavored water <laughs> i don't know it's very comforting to me um it's supposed to be for v-line i don't know if you know what that is but it's kind of funny anyway i used to always drink this in like the summer in korea so it's like very much nostalgic flavor um so it only has five calories but these were seven dollars these three items <laughs> Which is like silly because I'm like, oh my gosh, I got such a good deal on Gorillas. It was $4.99. And then I paid almost like, I don't know, almost double. And I got three beverages. Um, so here is an aloe vera drink. And this one has um, guava. Sorry, I brought the uh, non-English side here. So here's the guava flavor. Um, so I love guava. Anything guava, I am down for trying. Um, so I'll do a taste test probably tomorrow on this one. And then here, actually now I'm thinking about it, I have two bubble teas now to drink. I got a little bit like ahead of myself and like too excited to have all of these beverage options. And then they got me in the checkout line. This is um, so iced tea. It has a high vitamin C in it. So I figured that that would be nice too. It's a lemon black tea. I think this one is Chinese. I have no idea though, but I think it's Chinese. <laughs> Does it say anything? Oh, Singaporean. Um, so yeah. So that was like $7.50 at H Mart. So I'm going to move on to the most exciting thing. And this isn't even for me or anything related to me. Um, so basically I stopped at the 260 sample sale final sale. And that's like a 75th in Broadway, I think. 74th. Um, but anyway, I was in there looking for some blazers and like work dresses and stuff. But they didn't have it. But they did have a great sale on baby clothes. So each of these items are $5, which is like, I know, actually, I don't know what going rate is for baby clothes but this is like very expensive brand um so I ended up calling my friend who has a baby I was like um so this is like the most random call ever but they have these fancy baby clothes and they're all five dollars each um do you want me to pick some up for you because I'm going to see her next week in DC um so basically I bought two winter weight ones for her child and these are going to be 18 month size um so this is from the brand Giggle when I googled it I, I don't know if that this is it Giggle um but when I googled it these pants go for like 50 bucks <laughs> which is like I'm laughing because I don't even pay $50 for my own pants but I want these pants man like they're so cute it's like they got little cuffs at the bottom they got pockets what do babies need pockets for what are they putting in there um they got drawstrings do they have back they have back pockets women's pants don't even have front and back pockets teaching them out early to ask for pockets and then here are some chinos so I love these too so basically I was like I don't know what your child style is she was like basically like your style I was like okay so she was like use your judgment so what I thought this one looked nice for was that number one my style clothes um I want these pants actually they also have pockets but I also thought it was nice because they have like reinforced knees here and then here are the cuffs so from my non-experience with children, but from hearing from people, reinforced knees are very important. <laughs> and then here on the back, there are also back pockets. So I thought these were very nice. They feel like they're constructed really well. And um, if I were her child, I would want these to be my pants. <laughs> and then here are some summer weight ones. So I bought these as well. Um, these are like, 
I don't know what they are, like muslin maybe? Um, but they feel very like full on cotton. So these ones are 12 month. And this one apparently retails for $34, pull on drawstring pants. Um, but they feel really nice. They also have a very large pocket. So baby can put the baby's phone in there. That's nice. They're like go all the way down. They're like full on pockets. And these ones do not have the elastic at the bottom, um, but here is what the back looks like. No back pocket. I think the baby's okay not carrying her, you know, keys with her in her back pocket. Um, so here are two leggings. I thought these were so cute. Um, so again, these were $5 each. I mean, when I think about it, chino and corduroy versus legging, I feel like the leggings maybe shouldn't be $5. Um, but these were so cute. So um, these ones were 12 months, and so are these. So this one I thought was so cute. Um, and then my friend had already greenlit the uh, balloon pattern here and something else, but um, that ended up being long sleeves. So they needed a short sleeve one. And then over here, I found this like just like singly by itself. It's not even the same brand. It's like the Splendid brand, but this is like a $40 value. Um, but this is so cute for summer. It has little pineapples on it. It's a one piece, but it has like diaper access. <laughs> weird way of saying it but what I thought was cute was that it's actually like a um tank here but then this like overlay part is like over the top but it's still like very breathable it's kind of like a poncho um you can't disconnect it though it's very much connected but I thought it was still cute and then finally the last thing here is a hot air balloon sort of print onesie um so i thought this one was really cute but all of the sizes seem a little bit strange to me this one is also 12 months but this one looks really wide compared to the pants because it's like if i had these pants on like no baby would wear these pants with them but like why are the pants so small compared to the waist of the onesie but i mean i don't know i do think it's cute though maybe they could wear this or even let's see if i were the baby i think weirdest sentence ever if i were the baby i think i would wear these two together yeah that would be cute anyway not me styling a baby with my zero fashion sense but yeah that was a really great deal so i got all of these for 35 dollars, which is a great price because even like just based on like the price tag that i did find this where did it go this one piece here is 40 dollars value alone so for all of this, I got it for less than the price of this one item. I'm using this produce wash that I got at Marshall's and I'm gonna add some water. Actually, this is the second additional rinse and there's still a little bit of murkiness in here. What the heck was on these grapes? putting together a too good to go meal. Um, so I have these peanut butter packs that I got in like multiple gorillas. Um, so this one is 180 calories per one package, but I don't really care about this. I'm like at a calorie deficit today for sure. Um, but the thing is, is like, I definitely need protein. This is like a medium amount of protein, but it's definitely more than if I just ate apples. So I'm um, going to add some protein here. Okay, so I have one of my high crisp apples cut up. I only quartered it because like honestly cannot be bothered at this point of the day. My dinner at like 9.45, so I have quarters of apples. So this is one of the Honeycrisp from Gorillas. I also have that peanut butter pack that I showed you, me trying to squeeze out. And then I got grapes, my V-Line tea, the corn silk tea, and then also that cold brew tea that I've been making. Good morning, it is Sunday. It's time for me to do my laundry and then a bunch of other household stuff. Um, so during my laundry time, I'll be eating breakfast. I'm very hungry. Uh, that was not enough food last night. Okay, so back from doing my laundry, had some issues, um, but I did shake this up a little bit when I took it out of the fridge because the boba tends to get clustered um, when it sits overnight. So just as a pro tip. Um, so I have this like reusable boba straw. My mom got it for me for Christmas a couple of years ago. So I'm gonna try to use it. I don't know if this will work. I don't know, we'll see. Wow, this is like, I was so worried when I was walking back that it was gonna burst, but I'm like using full force here. Okay, let's give it a taste. Okay, so it's really good. So I think this is actually maybe 
slightly some black tea and green tea. It kind of has like a green tea flavor. It's not super sweet, even though I didn't tell them that I didn't want any sweetener, but it's quite nice. The bubbles or the boba are a little bit um, hard, but I think it's because it was in the fridge, in my fridge, you know, I always have fights with it. So this was a good use of my $3.99 because I have two of these now. So each one is about $2. Okay, finished editing a vlog and here is lunch for today. So I cut up some of those grapes from yesterday and then I'm also using the spring mix. So I think I ate about, I haven't eaten it yet, obviously. Um, I used about half of one of the containers um, of the spring mix and then I'm also eating the last container of that chicken salad from Aldi. So I think this is like cranberry almond chicken salad. Um, but yeah, this will be lunch for today. I'm probably also gonna grab a bag of chips later. Um, so I'm gonna open some of those single serve snacks. I am editing right now and I realized that I wanted to try some of these chips since I didn't eat them with my lunch. Um, so this is from the Zaps brand. So this was in the single serve packs that I bought on Boxed. If I can find it on Amazon, I'll try to put it in my storefront in case you're curious. But this is the Spicy Cajun Craw Taters. I haven't tried this before, so I'm kind of curious to know what it tastes like. It does have more calories per bag, but I think it is larger than the Lay's one. Um, but this is the info here, so let me give it a go what it looks like. I think these are kettle chips. Okay, so the flavor is very much like um, a smoky barbecue kind of flavor and it's very crispy. Um, it's kind of like um, a mix between like a, what's it called, seasoned salt flavor and kind of a smoky barbecue flavor. Um, I don't really think it tastes like seafood at all, so I don't know if it's supposed to taste like crawfish because there's like crawfish on the bag. Um, but yeah, um, I would probably buy these again actually. They're kind of nice. So I obviously didn't go anywhere, so I ended up canceling, and also my friend didn't want to go outside either. Um, so I canceled my ticket to go order, which is fine, because I like realize now that like I am leaving in a couple of days, so there's no point in trying to stock up on good deals. Um, so good thing I did stay here, because actually I forgot that there was a pre-order. So there's this bakery that I've wanted to go to for like years in DC so it's called um, Rose Ave Bakery. Um, I've been following them on Instagram for like maybe three or four years at this point. Uh, probably longer actually. Whenever they first came out I was like oh my gosh an Asian inspired bakery in, in DC is like amazing so I have to follow them and support them if I ever go back. Um, so long story short they have pre-orders if you are also in DC or traveling to DC. They have pre-orders that open at 5 p.m. on their website on Sundays so 5 p.m. Eastern time. So I got in there and I ordered six items for pickup on Friday um, so that'll be coming out and I'm kind of excited by all of them. We got two savory and then four sweets. Um, so my dad isn't really totally into like the fruity like Asian style sweet ones so he went with like a chocolate croissant um, but my mom and I stocked up on a bunch of other things. The two savories are kind of interesting um, so actually when we go walk in to pick up our things maybe something else will catch our eye. They've been having some like limited like run sort of items that are only available on when you walk in. Um, that was a weird way of saying it but yeah so I might try to add on a couple of items when we get there. So, so I want to give you the real details. So there were quite a few options and I had to narrow down my cart because it's like we're only three people and we're eating a lot this week. So um, I got six items total. So four sweets and then two savories. Um, so for one of the sweets, we got the strawberry rose lychee donut. It looks beautiful and I can't wait to show you it and also do a taste test for you. The next one was the passion fruit donut. So passion fruit, they also had a guava mousse one. So I had to really make a decision, a game time decision in here because those are my two favorite flavors. So the passion fruit one just kind of won out slightly ahead because I know that I can buy, this is going to sound really bad when I'm comparing it to like a, you know, a small bakery, but like I can buy that guava cheese pie at McDonald's and it's, it hits the craving. So I went with the passion fruit donut. It's like a filled donut. It's not like a malasada. Um, so I almost added on the ube one, but the ube one has coconut in it and I'm not a huge fan of coconut. Um, it's, probably just like a mental thing at this point, but I did used to have an allergy to coconut as a child, but now I'm okay. Um, so I skipped that one. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this and it's like so embarrassing because I like know I don't know how to pronounce it. Every time I go to Dominique Ansel, I never know how to pronounce this. It's the Quigan Amon. <laughs> So basically whatever it is, however you pronounce it, I'll put it on the screen, is basically like a hexagonal shaped um, croissant. Um, but I got it and it's a strawberry passion fruit one. So it has like passion fruit curd and then strawberry on the inside. So I got one of those. My dad wanted the champarado 
chocolate croissant. So um, champurado, I guess, is like a Philippine style thing. I don't know. I'll learn about it. Um, and then the two savory items. One is the scallion pancake bun, and that has limited availability right now. Everything is about $4.50. Um, and then the item that was the other savory item is the Chinese sausage biscuit. So I was reading reviews online and everybody said those two are really good. So I decided to go for both of those. And that was it. We did have for a while the black sesame cookie in the cart, but I was like, oh, mom, I know you really wanted that cookie, but it's 325. And when I think about like what I would rather spend 325 on, um, and also like a dollar twenty five extra to get like another croissant. I would rather get like another croissant or a fancy donut than just a cookie um, because it's also like I think I can make a black sesame cookie a little bit easier. Even though I took that uh, like croissant making class, I, it's not in my wheelhouse. I already know it. Um, so yeah, that's what we picked up. Um, but they have been having some really nice looking tarts that are available only in the store um, for their walk in menu recently. So. Um, maybe we'll pick one of those up. They also have some like matcha black sesame donuts that look really nice. I know they sound really nice to me, but I love matcha and I love black sesame even more than matcha. So both of them together will be delicious in a donut form. Um, at least that's my opinion of it without tasting it. And then they've also had a couple of tarts that look really nice. So like a blood orange one yes last week. And they also had like a mango passion fruit one as well. Um, so yeah, that's about it. That was the most exciting thing of my day. Um, I should actually start Start working on trying to um, pack by that I mean make piles of stuff to pack but um, maybe that'll be later <laughs> okay dinner today so I'm having a salad some grapes and I have this avocado tzatziki dip on top of the salad. So it looks a little bit brown and that's on me because when I was taking off the lid, I realized I'm supposed to cover it with plastic wrap first. So it just turned brown because of the avocado. It smells fine. So I'll just make sure I'll eat it with all of my salads throughout the next couple of days. But yeah, um, I'm also boiling some water for some pasta. So that's about it. Okay, so good evening. It is time to get ready for bed and tomorrow will be a new week. Um, so it'll be a quite shortened week in terms of work, but I guess in terms of work hours, I'm going to be working 40 hours, but it'll just be condensed into Monday and Tuesday. So we'll see if I survive that. Um, I hope I'll survive at least. Um, I'm also like trying to see maybe they'll like have had time to find somebody to help me with one of my projects so I don't have to like do one of them fully alone so then I can push it off on them so I don't have to do 40 hours over two days because that would be crazy. Um, so I'm going to test this secret product that I was sent. So I'm going to be in DC from Wednesday until Sunday on a family trip with my parents. I'm going to be meeting up with some friends, doing a lot of eating. Um, maybe looking at some apartments if we get around to it. So basically the thing is, is like rents in New York are just crazy expensive and I don't want to be stuck in this apartment another year. That's basically what's going down um, because my apartment is like, I got a really good deal on this apartment, which means that like, I'm looking at places that are like double the rent and it's not like any appreciable difference. It's actually sometimes worse than what I get right now. It's just in a different neighborhood and I do want to move to a different neighborhood, but it's also like my apartment right now is somewhat big, I guess, for like a single person. So um, in order to get a comparably sized apartment, I have to like start paying like, I don't know even. I don't even know how to assess that um, because I also like having the three different spaces like my common room, my bedroom, and my office. I like having three different spaces to do my life. Um, so I don't know. All of my friends are telling me that I should probably just buy at this point because it's going to be so much cheaper if I'm paying a mortgage than if I'm paying rent. But the issue is, is like, again, I don't want to pay a co-op fee. I don't want to live in a co-op and I don't want to pay like the monthly HOA fee either because actually the HOA fee, my friend was explaining this to me, um, that um, the HOA fee is like not like a fixed amount. So yeah. Anyway, I will talk to you tomorrow and I will start another work week in my life. Thank you again for watching and I hope next week's videos are going to be interesting. The work week is going to be short, so it's me just Monday and Tuesday. And then I think for the travel vlogs, I might try to do one per day. We'll see how much content I get and stuff to show you because it might be just one big travel vlog. Um, but yeah, I will talk to you later. See you then. Bye.